Hope for Today, December 5th, page 340. When my children were little, they didn't like cooked carrots. However, they loved to eat raw carrots, so I always kept some around for snacks. I don't care for those big, thick, pale carrots that seem to taste like wood. I prefer the slender, sweet, bright ones, so when I shopped for carrots for the kids, I carefully chose the skinniest, brightest ones that I could find. I didn't realize it at the time, but as I searched through the piles of carrots, my young son had been sitting in the front seat of the kitty cart, coming to his own conclusions. Recently, as a teenager, he expressed resentment that I always bought scrawny carrots. Scrawny carrots? I'd so lovingly selected them for him. I'd been doing what I thought was best, and he was resenting it because he wanted or thought he wanted something different. Once at an Al-Anon meeting, I heard sharings on the topic of spiritual gifts that come disguised as something one doesn't particularly like. This idea was in the back of my mind as I listened to my son. Suddenly, I found new insight and understanding. Was I resenting God's scrawny carrots? Were the challenges and losses in my life actually gifts God had chosen carefully for me so that I might grow spiritually? I knew it to be so, and I felt simultaneously humbled and overwhelmed with gratitude for the nature of my higher power's love for me. Thought for the day. Mine is a disease of disordered perception. Higher power, please help me appreciate the scrawny carrots in my life as the gift they really are. From Courage to Change, page 243. I'm constantly making choices about how I perceive my world. With the help of Al-Anon and my friends in the fellowship, I can make these choices more consciously and more actively than ever before.